Hey everyone, today I want to talk with you about the progress we made for United. And yeah, we did a lot of stuff during the last days and weeks. For example, we like further polished our systems like the character inspection system and the try-on systems are now like fully optimized. You will see gameplay and stuff like that in the background. Also, we packaged a demo version basically which will get online very soon. If this is already online, I will put a link in the description of the video. Then you can also run around there and check out everything by yourself and get an idea about what's possible, what we can do and stuff like that. We packaged this game basically and uploaded it to Furious using like pixel streaming. Um, this is basically just a very cool way to run your applications in the cloud. So on Furious um, it works like that, that you can like export from Unreal Engine your um, executable file basically, like for Windows or something like that. Um, and then you can uh, zip this file and upload it to Furious. And Furious will take care about all the cloud stuff which is going on in the yeah, backend basically. like. How it works is that the game is running in the cloud and will get projected to your browser like a live stream or something like that and then on the other hand also your inputs like uh, on the keyboard or mouse will get transferred to the furious servers so you can actually walk around there so it's like an intellectual live stream or something like that <laughs> My idea was to use those um, yeah, systems basically to keep this entrance barrier as low as possible because not everyone have a VR device like this one for example or yeah, also even a good gaming PC. So I also want to be able that, um, uh, that people who don't have the best hardware and stuff like that can also experience those applications which I am building basically. And maybe the next step is like exporting everything in, in WebGL and stuff like that. That's something I am currently working on actually. If you have any, um, yeah, done any research till yet and have any good ideas how something like that is possible, of course let me know in the comments. But that's also an area currently where I'm also partnering with some other companies and doing my own research and stuff like that but that um, is in my opinion maybe even better like the graphics will downscale a bit but the like hosting and server costs are way less than for example with furious because of furious it is like that that you need to pay like eight cents per minute per user and uh, with that it is like a bit hard to scale on uh, like over 100 permanent users uh, which are like using the game uh, like more than two or three hours uh, It will get like very expensive You can do that for like short events or something like that which will only be one hour and um, You only have like 10 or 20 users and stuff like that or for testing and stuff like that like we are doing it currently um, So for that furious is like very good, but I guess like all this pixel streaming stuff is currently too expensive to like quickly scale and when we develop a solution basically to run and export everything in the WebGL or HTML format which Unreal Engine unfortunately um, yeah like put put out it, it's not available anymore like by default but we are as, as I mentioned work on, on stuff like that to bring this back basically um, so when that works we are able to also quickly scale our but also our customer solutions basically. On our website you don't only find the link to yeah, already play a demo version of the game basically. There you can also register for early beta access and stuff like that on the website. And um, this will also help us to get an understanding about how many people actually want to see us build everything. And you will get notified once. Uh, only one time once everything is like built out that we can launch the beta so don't worry I will not spam you and stuff like that or send you any advertising mails or whatever it's just that I can send you a notification once the yeah actual mall and the like full metaverse is like in a like let's say beta state or something like that because currently the version we have is more like to showcase um, yeah, what we can al already do and stuff like that. Yeah, it's something 
where I can walk through with customers during a call basically um, to show them here we can do like metaverse malls, we can do metaverse clubs, we can do everything basically and then there's also like a separate area, a separate, spa a separate space basically where you can then um, yeah like sit down and talk more uh, about the possibilities and stuff like that we can do there basically and but yeah soon we will also integrate like the first uh, mall which, which we also saw in the api integration and stuff like that there we are still working after all those bug fixes we made to our like new framework that we integrate those apis also in the new framework that is like also currently something we are working on and once that is done we can also like um, integrate this mall level and yeah can scale from there like onboard the first shops who want to be uh, be a part of the mall and stuff like that and if you are like a business owner have your own store and stuff like that then you can of course already contact me to like that i just have you on my list or like waiting list uh, basically for stores who want to join because now it's like better than than ever before i also will upload soon a video about like first mover advantages and stuff like that maybe i already uploaded that before not sure <laughs> but um, it's now more important than than ever before um, to be like one of the first people who are part of the metaverse and stuff like that i also talked about this topic in specific in other videos on my channel and it's yeah very important that you now like um, stand up from the masses basically that you um, yeah that people when they see your metaverse shop uh, will think that you are like an innovative uh, business basically and so that they can keep you in mind for long term basically and uh, that your community basically also can build up a connection with your brand identity with your with your brand basically and then I guess once all this shopping stuff is done, we will also deeply focus on the user perspective. My goal was it to first find something to like financialize this project because like I am the only one basically pushing this project um, like financially wise, uh, pushing the project forward. Luckily, I also have like a team of developers helping me with all that, uh, with those people it would not be possible, but financially wise, I'm the only one pushing this project forward basically, so I also need to get some money back to put it in the development for the user um, area or for the user um, experience basically. So that was my idea. I put the money in, in business opportunities so I can get money from businesses back to like scale the free user experience because it don't make sense to charge the user for anything basically because the users maybe will also see the stores so it will be also a benefit for stores that there are users in a city walking around there and maybe also seeing the store and buying their virtual or also real world products basically. So that will be like a win-win situation basically for uh, both the users which can play the game for free but also for the shops who will have new people walking around there seeing them and like that they can uh, generate new leads basically and um, yeah that's, that's a win-win-win situation which I have in mind so of course we will also soon scale this city um, district and stuff like that we already have a lot of stuff in place basically which will um, also yeah help basically to build that out quickly we are currently working on the integration of like cars and stuff like that that you can like drive around there with cars that you maybe can uh, join races and stuff like that um, we also have like voice and video chat that you can uh, role play like in GTA I also noticed that in GTA you like people who own an uh, own server there basically are currently um, yeah, very restricted in forms of advertising or stuff like that. Of course it's a lot of work to set up a server like that and to also keep it running and add and, and manage it and coordinate everything. So in my opinion it's for sure they should earn money with it basically um, but GTA don't things like that and um, for those people I also want to yeah, offer my help basically that I built um, a similar city basically with my framework which is like definitely possible and 
yeah, for those people, um, yeah, who who have problems there with the with the guidelines and stuff like that from GTA, um, I want to give them like a opportunity or a second chance basically to to start um, where yeah, with with my virtual world where they can also advertise everything um, or like yeah do it how they think it should. Uh, work and in the end the user basically can decide in which world they are playing if it's in my free world where it's not much advertising but just a little bit to um, financialize the server hosting and stuff like that or if it's in a metaverse where uh, advertising is everywhere I guess the the people um, who will create those metaverses will also keep an eye on it then it's not too much because it always should be fun and in the end the user can decide on which world uh, he want to play right so I guess um, once this is running some weeks um, we will find a great balance there between like advertising and offering everything for free um, and stuff like that I guess that's something we, f we find a balance there over time basically the last update I want to share with you is that our map have, uh, has a new lightning now basically and we also have like those admin areas which I already mentioned shortly where I can um, yeah, then talk with customers during a call and show them basically around what is possible. But the main point here is like the new lightning which is set it up. And yeah that's it with all the updates for United. Soon I can hopefully also provide you with an update about all those APIs integrated in those new shopping mechanics basically and maybe also with this city district car driving and stuff like that. Um, that's also as I mentioned something we are working on but um, yeah hopefully we can showcase that in the next devlogs. Now we also have Christmas, my developers also uh, will go in holidays for one of the first times basically. We put so much work in this framework and also in our customer projects that holidays um, yeah, was not the first uh, big priority basically. So we need to also take some rest and stuff like that. So I can't promise you to, to have another devlog or something like that this year again. But I can promise you that we like will full with full energy and power um, will kickstart in the next year and um, yeah continue the updates there basically and I'm very looking forward to next year and to like what we can do there basically and if you also want to join this journey I would be very happy if you would leave a like there and also subscribe the channel that you can yeah follow this process how we are building our own metaverse basically for the community and yeah that's it for this video thank you very much for watching take care bye